Thank you for joining this overview of the Sickage Commission Management System for Microsoft Dynamics NAB. My name is Tammy Johnson and I'm a pre-sale solution architect at Sickage. The goal for this video is to provide you with a basic understanding of the key benefits and functionality of Sickage Commission Management. Many of the capabilities in Commission Management are delivered through configuration options. This includes the ability to base the commission on the invoice sales or profit amount. If profit is chosen, there's an option to generate automatic commission adjustments when the item cost changes. Examples of item cost changes include item charges for freight or other after the fact costs and cost differences between a purchase receipt and the matched purchase invoice. Sickage Commission Management can be configured to flag the commissions as payable when the invoice is posted or when it's paid by the customer. If receipt of payment is chosen, commissions can be flagged to pay on a partial payment. Salespeople will be paid based on the amount of the cash receipt until the full invoice is paid. Standard NAV allows us to assign a single salesperson to a customer. Sickage Commission Management allows multiple salespeople to be assigned, resulting in a split commission. In this example, Peter is the primary salesperson for this customer, but we can see that there are actually two salespeople assigned. That's because commissions are split between Peter and Adam Jones. Adam receives commission on 25% of the base commissionable amount, and Peter receives 75%. Standard NAV calculates commission at the document level. Sickage Commission Management extends that by providing the ability to calculate line level commissions. Calculations can be performed for specific items, resources, general ledger accounts, or fixed assets. Within each of those areas, effective date, customer, job, and item category settings can be defined. In this example, Peter receives 5% commission, except when he sells a black Paris guest chair to customer 61,000, which is fairway sound, between June and August of 2016. Let's take a look at a sample commission calculation. On this order, we are selling Fairway Sound, a Black Paris guest chair for $200. Navigating to the document commissions window will provide us with the details of the commissions that have been calculated. The lines show us what each salesperson is being paid. This is an example of a split commission. Adam is receiving a 3% commission on 25% of the base, which equals $1.50. We can see by the last column that the commission rate is coming from his salesperson card. Peter is receiving a 7% commission on 75% of the base, which calculates to $10.50. His commission rate comes from a specific line level setting. Remember that he receives 7% commission when he sells Black Paris guest chairs to Fairway Sound between June and August. Selecting document line commissions and checking the manual commissions box will give us the ability to override the calculation. This is handy when it's necessary to override whatever commission has been calculated by the system. Salespeople and managers have on-demand access to commissions directly from the salesperson card. We can see the total commissions earned and paid, as well as a breakdown between what is outstanding, due to be paid, and the total of all commissions possible. Drilling in on any category brings up the related commission ledger entries and follows standard NAV Navigate functionality. Statistics are also provided to summarize the commission activity for the salesperson. Thank you for taking the time to review the Sickage Commission Management System for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. For more information, please visit www.sickagetech.com or contact us at info at